Are you through with the chair? I've got to do the taxes. It's all yours. 90 days and counting until the daunting tax deadline. And when it comes to tax write-offs... I had a little bit of a giggle. Shauna Weckerlein has heard just about everything. In order to be green and support the government, I would like to buy a camel. So that instead of driving in a car, he could ride his camel to and from work. Add to that a client who wanted to deduct his carrier pigeon so he could hide his business practices from the government. Telephones were monitored and computers were monitored, so carrier pigeons weren't. Weckerlein hears about one or two of these crazy tax tales each year. Like the man who tried to write off pole dancing lessons for his wife as a medical expense. He decided that in order to lower his stress levels, he was going to send his wife to a pole dancing class so that at home, he would be able to have a very uh, stress relieving performance for him. And no. That's not quite what the doctor ordered. But if you order donuts for the office, You'll not only be the office hero. Thanks, Thanks Ariel. Oh, man, Ariel. All right. You'll also <laughs> save some serious dough. Get it? Dough? Uh, Donuts? Just make sure to save your receipt. But Weckerlein says some of the more commonly missed write-offs include fees you pay to your financial planner, continuing education for work, and moving expenses. Just remember, the larger the deduction, the greater the risk. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. So be sure to check with your tax professional. Ooh, look, Homer, the IRS. For The List, I'm Ariel Wessler.